<laughs> All right, so no, Dante is not coming out to Black Clover JP right now. That this is not what the video is about. This is a new video series I'm doing on how I would make these units that they are coming out, and Dante is the first one. I'm gonna be making one about all three Dark Triad members, but I'm gonna focus on Dante because if I try to focus on all three in this one video, it will be too long. I will get tired out, and I will not meet my deadline for the YouTube algorithm. So this is how Dante could be made in Black Clover Mobile. Okay, so Dante might be weird to do right now because we are far away from the Dark Triarch. We're not even close to being done with the Elf Arc. I mean, Black Osta just barely came out in JP. So we're like almost like halfway through the Elf Arc. Um, Sora and Mariella are about to come out. So it probably would have been a better idea to do them. But um, I kind of just wanted to do the Dark Triad because the Dark Triad is one of my favorites in Black Clover. I love all three of these characters. They are so good. And I'm focusing on Dante because I think he's the easiest to do, besides Vonica that is. Now let me start off by saying I am not going to be doing 100% Devil Host Dante. I'm not going to be doing 80% Dante. I'm focusing on Dante in his base with animations with a, his 100% form because I feel like that's what they're going to do. And then they're going to release a separate 100% form when the time is right for the Dark Triad. But yeah, so... I'm going to primarily be focusing on his anime appearance, so yeah, he does a lot of cool stuff in the manga too, and some similar stuff, so maybe here and there I'll put up a manga panel, but primarily I'm going to be using clips, and I'm going to be using what Dante showed us in the anime during his fight with Yami and Asta, in order to analyze what his skills could be in his passive, and yeah. So let me go over this rule real quick. I am not going to be making base stats for these characters, they are not in the game, it's so unpredictable what their base stat could be so I'm not gonna say like oh Don is gonna have like 5,000 HP or uh, can ha have a base speed of 109 or something no because um, I just want to go over their skills I'm not gonna try to stress myself by trying to come up with some freaking random numbers about their stats and stuff so that is the thing and I will go over as well how you can get the character since the dark triad are three units I think it would be really nice to have them all three in a banner together yeah maybe you should have them separate but let's be honest they're probably going to make the Dark Triad all three in one banner to make it harder to get them. And also it would be really nice to try to pull each of the siblings on their banner. You can just literally call it the Dark Triad banner or the Zagrit sibling banner. I will be also thinking of a skill page for each of these characters considering the fact that there's going to be a skill page no matter what. So yeah, I definitely got to think of a skill page. So I got to think about how to make these units good and what to add with the skill page. I have an idea what to do for Dante. So yeah, that's probably going to be the most challenging thing to do. The next thing to focus on, I'm only going to be focusing on the characters passive, their LR passes and their kits. I will not be focusing on how they get buffed if their skill gets upgraded, how their skill changes if they get max dupe, so I would not be doing any of that. So the next thing to consider about is class. There's classes in this game, every unit has a specific role, so that is another role we're gonna have. I have to give the unit either attack, debuff, or tank, support, or healer, whichever one of these classes it has to be. So for Dante, I'll go over his class. So probably to the shock of no one, I'm gonna be labeling Dante as a debuffer. Now, I could label him as a tank, but the idea I have for how Dante could work, I think he better fits a debuffer unit than a tank. So, why don't we go over this. Let's go over what Dante's ultimate will be. So, I think this is pretty obvious, and what animation we could expect. So, his ultimate ability is obviously going to be Gravity Magic, Pressure of the Demon King. This should definitely be Dante's ultimate. I don't see them trying to do any other ultimate for Dante. And the reason why I have Dante class as a debuffer because I think this ultimate could be similar to how Lotus' ultimate work as in it's an AoE ability that targets everyone also lowers the enemy's mobility since it's gravity magic and as we saw in the anime when Dante used this ability it would slow down people and people couldn't move so either this should reduce the speed of the enemy's team or stun them potentially but an AoE stun ability sounds kind of broken so I think just literally making it so they lose mobility will be much more balanced thing to do. 
The other thing I want to add to his ultimate ability is to inflict total silence on the enemy. The reason why we're doing this is even though it sounds kind of broken, Dante's going to come at a very late point in the game, and I think by the time Dante comes out, there's going to be other units that do crazy shit already. So I think by the time Dante comes out, this is not going to sound really crazy. So like in the anime, he should just be silencing, making people slow down, immobilizing, just like that he did in the anime, unless you're Yami Tsukahiro, that is. The animation for this ability, I would have it so Dante transform into his 80% devil host form. The reason why for this is because he, the first time he used it, he was using a percentage of the devil's power, and I say this will give us the feeling of having to use Dante in his devil host form. As we all know, they're not going to release the dark triad all in their devil host form. They're going to make them separate units, 100% on that. And if I'm wrong, well, I would be happy to be wrong. But if they really wanted to fuck us over, they can also just make the animation so Dante's in his 50% form, which would just be for trolls at that point. But yeah, the animation should also be based on how he used it against Asta and Yami in the fight in the anime. So now that we're done with his ultimate ability, we can finally go over Dante's second skill. So, there is multiple things I could choose from the anime to choose as a second skill, but overall, I decided that Gravity Singularity would be the best thing for a secondary skill, and this would be a single target ability as well. It's gonna be functionally similar to Lotus ability, you're gonna hear me say that a lot, aren't you? As well with a bit of Mars secondary ability, so I kinda combine the two, and basically this is a single target ability, and when Dante uses this ability, it has a 40% chance to inflict stun on an enemy, and has a 50% chance to reduce their mobility by 30%. This will be a really good ability because, well, he's controlling gravity and Dante, as we saw when he used this in the anime, it destroyed everything. So this is going to be his high scale magic attack. So this skill 2 really plays into the fact that Dante is a user of gravity magic. As a gravity magic user, he should be able to, you know, lower people's speed and also just giving him a stun I think will make him good. You know, stuns are really good and also with the lower speed, it makes it so people running that gear set that increases your speed when you get stunned, really it just negates it which will make Dante a really good counter to people running those gear sets. So with his skill 2 and ultimate out of the way, we can go to the skill 1 which will be his basic attack. So for his basic attack, I decided to go with heavy infighting. The reason why I went with this because it just was the thing Dante first used and most commonly used because Dante is known as a very good fist fighter apparently. So I figured this would be a good way to really show off that. So this ability is actually the one that's going to be upgraded with its skill page which I will go over at the end. So let's talk about his skill 1. So it's a single target ability as well, and Dante will actually grant himself a buff speed of level 2 for one round, and he will grant himself increased attack for one round before he attacks, kind of how like, you know, Season 1 Asta does. The reason why where he's getting both these buff is because this ability is supposed to be him like manipulating the gravity of his fist so his fist is supposed to punch harder and it's also going faster so i figured that's the way we're gonna really drive home that dante's punching and going faster by giving him a speed increase and giving him a level one attack increase this will only last one round so they will both go away on dante's next turn unless he uses his skill one again so as you can see also, if he has his skill page, the skill gets upgraded to inflict reduced attack on an enemy for two turns. Um, the only reason I did that is because um, uh, for the life of me I could not think of anything else and I did not want to give Dante another stun. And so it might be a lame thing, but then I think the passive on the skill page would make up for that. So let's go over actually the skill page idea I had. Um, it's more of a meme thing though, I'm warning you. Alright, if it was up to me and I was making the game, I'd definitely call his skill page You're My Woman now, but they're likely not gonna do that. So it's like, like his skill page is gonna be called like King of Spade or King of the Spade Kingdom, I don't know, something along that line, slain like that. Even though I think You're My Woman now would be way funnier. <laughs> Alright, so his skill page, the photos um, on the top is going to be used for the skill page photo. And his skill page is kind of going to be unique. If, so when this is equipped to anyone else, all it's going to do is grant, you know, HP recovery, kind of like Charmy. And it's going to be equal to 15% of their max HP. But if it's a quick specifically to Dante, this would also apply a 10% HP increase for Dante. So anyone else, they just get uh, HP recovery, but for Dante, he also gets a bonus HP. Now the reason why I have that is because this is going to benefit off his LR passive. So his LR passive is body magic, which is Dante's main magic, since his devil is gravity. This is specifically why I didn't want to make Dante a tank, because a tank that's constantly healing is annoying. 
So the way this is gonna work, it's gonna be basically swimsuit Asta done right. Before each turn, remove all debuffs. So this can be the burn, poison, or like lower speed, all debuffs will be removed on Dante before they even activate. And once they are removed, then Dante will grant himself continuously HP recovery equal to 50% of his max magic. Giving Dante this passive will really make it so you feel how Dante's body magic worked and while still keeping the power of his devil. This is what I thought of to do with him and I think Dante should be having like some kind of debuff immunity or removal debuff since in the anime he was constantly regenerating and I think giving him continuous healing off his LR passive is the way to go about this because that way Dante is constantly healing and it's he's gonna be very annoying the way you're gonna have to counter him is to do anti-healing just like how they had to use anti-magic to cancel out his regeneration I think that'd be really good gameplay wise and it will really make Dante unique and you have to think of a unique way to counter him and start to bring light to anti-healing all right so the last thing to go over is really his dupe passive so you all are gonna hate me for this, but I decided to give Dante 50% reduced damage taken to self until you have one debuff. The reason why I'm doing this is because that way you have to really strategize how to fight against Dante. Do you want to debuff him and make him less tanky or do you want to not give him, you know, that debuff? and have him to be a bit more tanky this will really make the strategies and play to fight dante really unique and really good because right now i'm bringing light into anti-healing which is not really that you know relevant right now and by the time dante comes out it maybe it will be i, I don't know but yeah so this way it just brings a lot of strategy and this also will help make Dante more tanky as he's continuously healing and again this is why I did not classify him as a tank because uh, you all would hate me even more and he would be the most broken tank ever with all these passives so that's why he's a debuffer and even though I said I wouldn't go over stats he would have a low defense to counteract like all these passives that's helping him out. Now, I know I did not go over a combo attack to do with Dante. That's because I plan to reveal that when I do the rest of the Dark Triad members because I have an idea for what their combo attack should be. So until I go over the last member, I won't be revealing the combo attack because I want them to have a unique combo attack. I, how many times have I said combo attack in the last 10 seconds? So that is how Dante could work in Black Clover Mobile. Now, I know what I said here. They might not do... But potentially, I I'm 100% I'm sure I'm right on his ultimate being, you know, Presence of the Demon King. Because, like, come on, we all know that's gonna be it. So, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this because, oh my god, this actually took longer to edit than I thought. So, yeah. I am gonna be doing the other Dark Triad members. Even if this video does poorly, then I will cry. And I also want to take the time right now to say, oh my god, y'all, the Black Asta video, oh my god, that did better than my Yuno video, like, in the first day. Like, you guys, thank you so much, man. So for my next video, I'm going back to how to fix units. I'm probably doing Jack or Fake Goleon for the next video. Maybe I'll do Yami, I don't know. So I'll have to take a look at it. And then Friday, I should have the next Dark Triad member. Now that I know this video is going to take longer to edit, I need to prepare myself. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I should probably talk about like Sora or, you know, Mary and Elena, but I really wanted to talk about the Dark Triad members because I like them and I would like to be unique like that. So yeah, if you enjoy this and you want to see me do more of these, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, y'all. For real though, if you're excited for the Dark Triad members to eventually come to Black Clover Mobile, please tell me down below. And let me know if you agree with anything I said here about how Dante's kid might work and you know i'm gonna be tackling probably xenon next because um as most of you probably know vonica is my favorite character in all black clover so i like to do her last because i love her so much and also because i know she'll be the easiest to do because let's, let's be honest she'll be a drain tank like that's not hard to say but until then y'all like i hope you all had a fantastic new year's looking forward to 2024 and just overall i'm really looking forward to but making more videos and I'm just really glad y'all enjoy it. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say besides like, um, remember guys, they own the Spade Kingdom. Don't think wrong about it. Don't think too much on it. Just know it's the Spade Kingdom. Goodbye!